sign up for our newsletter April 2, 2019, 12.32 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time, source, today Shay considered herself Prince Harry's biggest fan, and no one dared to disagree. Daphne Dunn, who always received a warm welcome from the royal during each of his recent visits to Australia, has died at 99. She passed away from pneumonia on Monday, just days after she received a card from Harry and his wife, Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex. She was a truly special lady who will be greatly missed by so many. The simple act of stopping, sick, Daphne in the street, and holding her hand meant more to Daphne than anyone could ever imagine, her children said in an Instagram post. We, her family, would like to thank everyone for the love and support they showed Daphne. Dunn first met Harry in 2015 as she waited with other fans to catch a glimpse of the royal during a walkabout outside the Sydney Opera House. The trip came at the end of Harry's month-long deployment with the Australian Army. Harry first met Daphne Dunn on May 7, 2015, outside the Sydney Opera House. She wore her husband's Victoria Cross, which caught the royal's eye. Gay images done made such an impression on Harry that the prince greeted her like an old friend when he returned to Australia in 2017 to help with launch plans for the following year's Invictus Game Sydney. The prince greets Dunn like an old friend on June 7, 2017. Getty Images arguably, Harry's most memorable visit with Dunn came during his most recent one, when he introduced her to his new bride. Meghan held Dunn's hands as she and Harry chatted with her during the couple's visit to Sydney last October. This stop was part of an official tour of Australia, Fiji, Tonga and New Zealand, and started immediately after news broke that the pair was expecting their first child. The baby is due this spring. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex greet Dunn on October 16, 2018, at her favourite royal meeting spot, the Sydney Opera House. What image, I've heard so much about you. All good things, Meghan told Dunn last year. Hopefully next time we see you we'll have a little one with us, Dunn lost her first husband in 1945 during World War II. Lieutenant Albert Crown was posthumously awarded the Victoria Cross, the highest honor awarded to members of the British Armed Forces. Dunn wore his Victoria Cross when she first met Harry, she spent a large part of her life representing the women of the Australian Army and her two husbands LT. Albert Crown V.C. Im and John Patrick Dunn, ensuring that their service to Australia was never forgotten, her family wrote on Instagram. Dunn celebrated her 99th birthday just days before she died, I received a lovely message from Prince Harry and Meghan which really made my day. I wanted to thank everyone who wished me a happy birthday, it means a lot and has touched my heart, she wrote on social media. Oon Kyung Kim, 